So the first thing that you have to do is when you're looking at it, they're going to give you two different things. So first thing they're going to give you is the number, which is 42, and then they're going to give you the place value, which is the tens in this case. So we have to take 42 and put it in the tens place, which can be pretty tricky. But here's the simple thing that you're going to have to remember. Take the first number that they give you, which is the 2, and you're going to put that in whatever place value they tell you to. So the 2 is going to go in the 10 spot, and then the 4, we're just going to write so it's 42. Make sure not to put that 4 over there. Um, once you have 42 tens, you can just add that 0 on the end. So 42 tens is equal to 420. The same thing we can do with hundreds. So 35 hundreds, this is the number, this is the place value. So we're going to the hundreds place value, and we're going to write 35. And remember, you can only write one number in each one of these columns. So we're going to take that first number, and we're going to write it in the hundreds. They're telling you exactly where to put it, and with what number you need to put. You just have to remember to write that number backwards and fill in the rest with zeros. So 35 hundreds is the same as 3,500. So those are the same thing, just said differently. Sometimes you might see it where they give you the number. So let's take 45,000. And they're going to ask you, how many hundreds are there? So they're telling you to go to the place value, which is the hundreds. So how many hundreds? are in 45,000. I'm going to the hundreds. I'm going to underline this, and here's my trick. I'm going to underline that, and I'm going to draw an arrow to the left. And everything to the left is my answer. So how many hundreds are in the number 45,000? There are four, five, zero. And we're not going to do those zeros because they're not underlined. So there are 450 hundreds in 45,000. That can be a little confusing, so I'm going to give you one other example. Let's do just a simple number, 370, 370. Uh, they're going to ask you how many tens are in 370. How many tens? Well, I go to the tens, underline the tens, draw my arrow to the left. The only number that I have over there is three, so my answer is, I'll write it down here, 30, Seven. So there are 37 tens in 370. So that's another way to look at it.